Gray Wolf 29BH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, weighs 6,150 pounds. Truly, comfortably, half ton towable travel trailer. You will definitely want proper weight distribution and, of course, electric brakes to handle anything this size. So, just being smart. And if you don't know what your vehicle can handle, you know, even bigger SUVs can handle this one, give us a call. We are educated on that stuff. We have in house uh, experts who actually came from Ford, GM, and Dodge truck sales. So we're very, very educated on towing vehicles here. And that's why we still continue to actually offer a lot of tow vehicles today. We do hitching pieces, parts, brakes, financing, uh, package deals with trucks and trailers all the time. We can also deliver this right to your front door or your campsite. So don't really care where you live. It's on wheels, we can get it there. Um, again, perfect family bunkhouse camper. Now what this offers that not every bunkhouse has is private bunk space. You can save a little bit of length, you can save some cost by uh, going with a little bit shorter RV, but anything shorter than this and you're going to lose privacy in your sleeping quarters all the way around. This is a, uh, if at any point by the way you're curious what this thing runs or how it's equipped, I leave you a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. If you click that, it'll show you exactly what we have, exactly how it's equipped, links, weights, tank capacities, etc. Um, and of course, we publish pricing and our price doesn't change if you do or don't have a trade because we don't play games with your money. So this is a member of the Cherokee family, which is the number one selling travel trailer from Forest River, period. Um, why though is the question. What has made it such a standout product? Why is it just an absolute juggernaut in the sales uh, of RVs? And all these little things I'm going to show you. There's no one answer. There's no one big glaring, oh here's the reason answer. It's a bunch of little stuff and that's what I want to point out here. This is again a family class camper but we've got nicer power awning, power tongue jack, we've got LED lighting under the awning. It's solar prepped and ready uh, for dry camping so you can have 12 volt trickle charging. The front of this trailer looks like a smooth fiberglass sweep. It's actually, if you listen, it's an extra thick aluminum. It's a .06 thickness aluminum. Same thickness of aluminum they use on the kick wall of horse trailers. If you don't know what that is, we do because we also sell horse trailers. But when a horse is loaded into a trailer, sometimes they, they get a little crazy and they will kick the wall. This is the exact same extra thick aluminum they use up there. This is normal thickness. That front skin is 250% thicker. To, to describe it another way, this is a .06 aluminum. This is a .06 aluminum. The whole nose of the trailer is basically uh, stone deflecting. Um, they use seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls here so that it pulls a slide seal really taut. Now this is a classic Forest River thing that really you don't see used a lot anymore and I don't know why. Um, they actually, they shove the sofa inward a couple inches but you don't lose living space because they use a deeper slide. Instead what you gain is a secondary outside storage compartment so you can have your camping stuff separate from like your outside utility stuff perhaps or you can keep, I don't know, anything in here, fishing poles, break them down, you can put those in there no problem. Cherokee is very good for putting the largest windows they can in their RVs which keep the interiors nice, bright, and light. And we have outside utility showers, we have a black tank flush system, bonus storage below the bunks back here as well. So you have multiple segregated outdoor uh, storage areas so that your indoor and outdoor or your the stuff for your sewer utilities doesn't mingle with like your camping chairs. You can, all that stuff is available in this model. Um, the travel rack you see on the back there is ideal for either strapping down a couple bikes, bring along some extra coolers, whatever. It's got about a 200 to 250 pound cargo capacity. And this is an outside kitchen model as we have equipped it. 29BH does not have an outside kitchen standard. This is an option. This is probably very much like how we're going to bring one into stock. Not necessarily a guarantee of this is exactly the one that we have in stock. That's why I leave you that link to verify. Um, the uh, outside kitchen here, I love the fact that they're still using a full size outside kitchen. A lot of brands use a low profile. There are advantages both ways. And that brings me to the point that there is no best RV. They're all the best for different reasons, but this one has become one of the very best sellers in the market because it, it speaks to the one of the best numbers of people in that respect. Little detail stuff like this. In this class, you don't always get plywood drawer construction on full ball bearing glides. You get a lot of like press board with a sticker wrap on them. 
And don't get me wrong, that's okay. This is just better. There's okay, and then there's better. We've got a bigger outside fridge. We've got our little cooktop. We've got a big space over here for microwaves or blenders or anything you want it to be. Perfect little place. Maybe charge your phone outside on a sunny day if you don't want to keep your phone in your pocket. Um, you know, the, the bigger medicine cabinet allows you to keep a couple pops of both the soda and barley variety in here, or just bottles of water, whatever works for you. And all of your countertops in uh, Cherokee trailers are a sealed pressed membrane. They're waterproof. So if you're splashing water here, or when you're outside here in the outside kitchen, You've got a lot of humidity outdoors a lot of times during the camping season. This is not going to sponge and swell and fall apart and the tea mold's not going to fall out. It can't. It's sealed. Uh, the We have outside TV hookups dead below the center of your power awning. Now, as you're seeing it in this video, uh, we are generally not including TVs with our Cherokee family trailers, in including the Grey Wolf. The reason being, it is generally equally expensive or inexpensive, depending on your, your phrasing, um, to just get one after market. And some people have TVs, and some people don't care if their RV has a TV or not. Uh, we've found that for the same money you can get a TV from this manufacturer, you can also, friction hinge door by the way, catches itself, uh, the same money you get a TV from this manufacturer, you can also just get one after market and generally speaking get a higher grade screen. Notice how this catches itself, it doesn't slam open or shut, they have a high friction hinge on this so that the wind can't whip it against the side of the trailer and cause dents and dings and it doesn't hit people and none of that nonsense. Now, as we come inside here, uh, you start to see Another reason why uh, the Cherokee family is uh, Forest River's best-selling series of travel trailers, that's because your interior is clean, it's very modern, it's very high contrast with light darks, it makes it feel larger than it actually is. The light dark contrast makes human beings think things are larger. Some very nice touches, and, and really that's all you're going to see. The differences between the 16s to the 17s that we're seeing here are very slight cosmetic updates, but they're very key. Like, they, they added a little depth of color into your slide-out fascia band. They still have this beautiful uh, LED light above here. We've got a uh, uh, the armrest style here in the, uh, the fold-down jackknife type sofa, but that gives it like almost a theater seat sort of thing. Um, the U-Dinette over here uh, has these big 42-inch full extension drawers below it. So you've got all kinds of easy access storage, and you'll see that replicated on the other side of the dinette as well. There is full storage under here. Now, a key thing in the Grey Wolf family is that the your, your, your living deck is completely carpetless. Because they use an above-floor slide-out system, they do not need to have carpet in front of the slide-outs. What that means is that this is broom clean easy. You just whoosh, whoosh, right out the door and you're done, guys. So, um, another little cosmetic update they put in is just the way they touched up the kitchen over here. They gave that little, uh, little sconce lighting in a sense. Very cool, very sharp, and the, uh, glass doors on this cabinetry here help brighten this up. It looked flat and dark last year, now it's really got nice character in three dimensions. Very residential, sharp look in a family class camper. It is something you'll feel like a home away from home. Uh, the skylight up here is an option we like to add in. You see you've got a little sunshade so you're not cooking like an ant under a magnifying glass. Again, pressed sealed membrane countertops with a matching sink cover that can actually be used as counter space. Now, they've increased their counter space even further by recessing a stove with a tempered glass folding top. So you've literally got 100% counter space here, and I apologize for the light darkness on the uh, camera there. I've got some rough backlighting coming in from these morning uh, uh, sunshine windows that is causing me some problems. And I love the update to the, the stainless kitchen set here. It, again, it really helps break up the monotony of that beautiful walnut wood tones uh, just to kind of split things up. Uh, we uh, do have central air on these. Um, we've got all LED interior lighting, so one, it's brighter. Two, it uses less battery power. And three, it doesn't generate heat in your RV like incandescent bulbs. Uh, bathroom, it's about what you would expect a bathroom to be, but again, devil's in the details. Foot flush stool instead of centrifugal. Centrifugal is the ones where the handle's up here and it requires you get your nose right up near your business. Still waterproof countertops. That doesn't change anywhere. Even the, the the dinette table actually is the same thing. So if you set an iced tea in here and it sweats and you get a bead of water, it's not going to degrade that over time. Um, biggest in class medicine cabinets. That's been a Cherokee thing for a long time. And what's cool about that, guys, 
is it keeps your countertop space open. And you might notice they're actually using the, the bigger whole house fan in here. So that when you close the bathroom door, if you don't want to run the AC, you can leave that fan running and it sucks the hot air out of the trailer because hot air rises, then it gets pulled out the fan. And it will service the whole camper. It does a pretty good job. Recent update is they have added the shower wall surround paneling here just to help keep those shower walls protected an extra bit. And you're getting both a power vent fan and a skylight. My battery's blinking at me here, but we've got too much to cover, so I'm not going to try to race through the end of this. If we get cut off, I'll just have to splice two chunks of a video together. Um, this right here, this could be pantry, this could be linen space, this could be any combination thereof, because it, oh, it could also be bunkhouse storage, because it's all, it's centrally located between the kitchen, the bathroom, the bunkhouse. That being said, this bunkhouse has a very respectable level of storage that uh, you're probably going to be able to use that mostly for pantry and or a little bit of linen space. Now we've optioned in the outside kitchen, so you don't have four bunks back here. You have three bunks and then you have this storage space. So in a sense, you actually gain storage with the outside kitchen. It's pretty cool that way. We've got a 50% larger big kid bunk over here because it does extend in a little bit. And over here, we have a pair of normal individual bunks. But uh, this is a Cherokee exclusive feature they've done for years. They add an extra little drawer that they build in-house under that bunk right there because there is no such thing as too much storage and they understand who goes camping in their campers and how they do it we've also got dedicated closet space here we've got a built-in bunk ladder so you don't got to throw the kids to the upper bunk and an uh, entertainment center back here if you uh decide you want to let the kids put a little flat screen or something in here spinning around i do want to mention real quick this is called the natural mink decor but uh again we're gonna have a bunch of these through the year wow that is super modern um the other ones we have in stock might not look exactly like this, long story short. I have uh, updated the look of the entertainment system over last year with that reclaimed barnwood backer wall. Very, very sharp. And it ties right into that very natural earth feel, earth tone that we have going on. Now, another thing they've done that I really like is they've put these USB, WSB charging plugs all over the place near your seating areas. And not just on one side of the bed or the other, like a lot of brands, but actually on both sides of the bed. So everybody has phone chargers, everybody has places for CPAP machines, everybody has access to everything all the time. And a shoe garage. Guys, it's, it's literally nothing. It's actually the absence of cabinet space, but it's what it does for you. It keeps a big, ugly pile of shoes from building up by the door. Little stuff like this. As a person that goes camping, I see that and I go, thank you. Somebody actually understands how people go camping when they built this. Now, if you choose to add a TV, we've got AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player there. And I love the extra, like I said, even extra um, overhead lighting above the entertainment center just to kind of kick it up a notch. Now, you see they've got a little hole through here. And the reason they do that is they allow you to mount uh, a TV on either side of this wall and run some cables through. Uh, we do have pocket privacy doors for mom and dad. Um, and uh, we've got some, some upgraded uh, bedding this year, uh, which is really nice. I like the linen treatments they've gone to. And they've uh, swapped up to a, uh, these have become super popular, a dual element reading light. Tap once for blue that makes paper glow at night so you don't disturb your partner because obviously it's not terribly bright. It's just bright enough. Or boom, we can get lots of light with it. And uh, I'm getting blinded by this thing, but we've got huge windows all over the place. Once again, they're very good at putting large windows in here. And hey, we made it through without the battery dying, so give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.